Good evening, everyone. It is currently the 21st of June, 2011. And out here in the Western Pacific, there are two strong areas of tropical development going on right now. Thus, my last video update was supposed to be my last one, but I'm going to put out one more one this evening before going on business-related travel across the Western Pacific here. Starting tomorrow, though, RP Weather, or Patrick here, he's going to start putting some video updates on his channel. If you click up here in the top right, or you can also go to westernpacificweather.com. Those updates are going to be combined with text updates throughout the day as tropical systems form up out here in the Western Pacific and Australia here in the coming months. So just please go check those out and also make sure you go to the website as well. But starting out here, the Philippine Sea, we're going with a tropical depression falcon now, basically located just east of Samar Center Circulation in the midst of this. Ascra imagery earlier today uh, indicated a closed circulation in the center of this, thus Pagasa upgraded this to a tropical depression. As shown here, the Ascra imagery indicating the basically the wave heights and the direction of the waves, thus indicating where the wind speed is. Is, uh, on the surface of the water and across the water indicating up here of 25 up to 30 knots actually on the northern periphery of this cyclonic clear circulation here just northwest of Palau it was what I believe the catalyst for Pagasa announcing this up to a tropical depression. JMA has also called it a tropical depression. JTWC still holding back on a TCFA currently but we'll get and dive a little bit more into Pagasa's warning on this in a second but here currently showing the streamline analysis and this is what I like to use to indicate where the systems are going to start moving and um, overall back flow is what you really want to look at here. You don't want to look at the cyclonic circulation itself in the midst of this, but the overall flow moving around the Westpac Eye off here towards the northeast. And overall flow right now, taking it off towards the northwest, eventually recurving straight due off towards the north door towards the East China Sea and Taiwan here. Taiwan and specifically Taipei in the long run could see some heavy rain showers out of this and also much of the Ryukyu Islands as well. Also this uh, cyclonic circulation out here indicated by the area of low pressure here is Tropical Depression 06W or Zombie out here in the South China Sea. We'll get a little more into that in a second, but right now though, this area of low pressure moving off towards the north-northwest, much of the eastern coast of Luzon and the east coast of Visayas could see some heavy precipitation out of this once again, it seems like every uh, storm that has gone through here has taken a similar track just off the east coast of the Philippines and dropping a lot of precipitation to that already rain-soaked region. And unfortunately, model consensus is going to agree with that streamline analysis here. Really, in the long run, taking this up by the 25th and the 26th over the Ryukyu Islands, as shown here on GFS in the top left, no gaps in the top right. And also down here, you have the UK model and the CMC model over here in the bottom right. So I like to put these side-by-side -side comparisons of the different types of models and when you get them all matched up in a similar trajectory as all four of these models are right in here that's really kind of indicating to you that the storm is very likely going to take this track off towards the north northwest eventually recurving directly to the north and towards the northeast in the long run this all depends on the subtropical ridge off towards the northeast as indicated in my last several updates but right now it looks like it's actually starting to weaken thus allowing the system to track off towards the north and then eventually towards the north northeast in the wake of a trough a low pressure is actually moving over Japan today so really all these uh, factors do play in with each other right now and also I do want to know on this uh, model and output right in here you're starting to see some of the sea surface temperatures all of them showing the same deal right around about upwards of 30 to 31 degrees in the midst of the storm's track that's providing a lot of Latin heat at the surface a lot of that moist air allowed to be pumped into this warm core low so allowing for intensification and also allowing for such the broad band of rain bands we are seeing on this system currently as it is a very large area of low pressure here, actually some of the rain bands coming in from the equatorial region clear down to here over Mindanao, actually seeing some rain showers from this, and also even southeast of Palau coming out of uh, Indonesia down here way to the south, you actually have some precipitation coming in from that way as well, a lot of these uh, higher cloud tops indicating that precip, and also just showing the inflow and the overall cyclonic circulation associated with this. A little bit of dry air still on the northern periphery, this is also associated with the subtropical ridge up here towards the northern portion. But overall, though, there's a lot more moist air going into the center of the system than there is dry air coming into it. So I'm sure everybody's mind here in the Philippines is probably thinking, where is this system going to go? Well, according to the streamline analysis and model analysis, likely it is going to drift off towards the north-northwest here. So right now on the satellite loop, you probably are seeing a north-northwesterly trajectory on this system. It also is a little bit illusional because there is a lot of convection blowing up here over Visayas and Mindanao dropping those rain showers. And it also could kind of show that the center circulation is drifting off that way. We kind of saw that similar situation with 06W, but really the center of 
circulation kind of moving off towards the north northwest it should remain clear of Luzon here before starting to churn off towards the north and see this area of cloudiness here just to the northwest of Ryukyu Islands that's what's really going to draw this up towards that region is this area of cloudiness an area of low pressure really warm core lows like the run downhill kind of like water running downhill and it's going to want to run to this area of low pressure up here towards the north and kind of start to basically go due north into that low and basically over the Ryukyu Islands and Taiwan could see some precipitation out of this as well but these are my thoughts on this system actually looking at the official warning from Bagasa on Tropical Depression Falcon just taking off towards the north northwest and basically a similar trajectory than I as I indicated here up towards the uh, southern Ryukyu Islands and just east of Taiwan a lot of the models and this warning all in fair agreement of this exact track rating here so thumbs up the Bagasa for really going with this I kind of agree with them on this as well and you could see some of these outer rain bands affect much of northern Luzon and specifically Manila as well could see some precip out of this but they're really just going to be outer rain bands I think the main effect out of this we just like the last uh, tropical system that moved across eastern Luzon here is rain. This entire region up here is already rain soaked and just any more precipitation and rainfall on top of that could cause localized flooding in low-lying areas and also in metropolitan areas where you do have some of that poor drainage. On Tropical Depression Falcon here, I also do want to mention Zamia or 06W. I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but this is just in south of Hong Kong. Hong Kong currently in standby signal force one indicating a tropical system within 800 kilometers of the city. I looked at some of the objects and also noting that winds upwards of 25 to 30 knots are currently being reported across much of the island. Right now, though, it looks like the system is going to continue to track off towards the north, or excuse me, the west northwest towards the uh, northern portion of Hainan here, basically making landfall just west of Hong Kong in this region here in southeastern China. Heavy precipitation, uh, unlike my last update where I didn't really expect so much precipitation, I'm kind of going to take that back. It looks like there is going to be the potential for some heavy precip here across southeastern China. And even as far west as Vietnam as well could see some heavy precip out of this as it really did gain a lot of strength over the South China Sea. A lot of warm sea surface temperatures here just towards the south brought in a lot of moist air into the system. And this is all going to get dropped in this region out here. Hong Kong looks like it should be spared most of the convection as most of the convection is on the southern periphery if we go back to the satellite picture you can see that indicated here all this area of inflow here along the southern periphery here uh, basically coming in from the southwest towards the northeast you still have a little bit of vertical wind shear coming in from the north as well knocking off some of those comps and kind of sparing Hong Kong from that heavy amount of precipitation but still there is some increased winds throughout this region here thus that standby signal force one being issued this is all for today, everyone. Thanks again for watching WesternPacificWeather.com here. And also, if you're not watching this at the website, if you're watching it on the YouTube channel, I strongly suggest going to the website. So it's going to be combined with text updates now, uh, combined with Patrick and myself. We're both putting these together. And also looking for more volunteers if you want to contribute and you feel like you have the meteorological know-how of out here in the Western Pacific and Australia, please uh, go ahead and write me here at westpacweather at gmail.com. So thanks again, everybody. And also, I do want to mention, lastly, I am posting this at storm2k.org as well. Uh, plenty of meteorological discussion going on there as well on these tropical systems out there. So please go there and check that out. So thanks again, everybody. Have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye.